To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson. Read for LibriVox.org by Christina Chu. To celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006. This relative of mine was she seventy and nine. When she died, by the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree, her maiden reverie has a charm. Her ringlets are in taste. What an arm, what a waist for an arm. With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace, farthingale, and gay falbala. Were Romany's lemoning chew. What a lucky dog were you, grandpapa. Her lips are sweet as love, their parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly and seem to say, Come. What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint. What canon says, I may marry thee? That good for nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her locks, as white as snow, once shamed the swarthy crow. By and by, that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well, I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay, her charms had dropped away one by one, but if she heaved a sigh, with a burden it was, thy will be done. In travail, as in tears, with the fardel of her years, overpassed, in mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmama, this nether world agrees, it will all the better please Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson Read for LibriVox.org by Dreama Lynn of BlueSilver.org To celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006 This relative of mine, was she seventy and nine when she died? By the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree, her maiden reverie has a charm. Her ringlets are in taste. What an arm! What a waste for an arm! With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romney's limning true. What a lucky dog were you, Grandpapa! Her lips are sweet as love. They are parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly, and seem to say, Come! What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips! Whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint, what canon says I mayn't marry thee? That good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her looks, as white as snow, once shamed the swarthy crow. By and by that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well, I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay! Her charms had dropped away one by one. But if she heaved a sigh with a burden, it was thy will be done. In travail, as in tears, with the fardel of her years overpast, in mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmamma, 
this nether world agrees to all, all the better please grandpapa end of poem this recording is in the public domain to my grandmother by frederick locker lamson read for librivox dot org by gemma bloth to celebrate grandpa's day two thousand and six the is relative of mine was she seventy and nine when she died by the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride beneath the summer tree her maiden reverie as a charm her ringlets are in taste what an arm what a waist for an arm with her bridal wreath bouquet lace bath and gale and gay far below for romney's limning true what a lucky dog were you grandpapa her lips are sweet as love they are pardoned do they move are they dumb her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly and seem to say come what fun a fancy slips from between these cherry lips whisper me sweet sorceress in paint what can it says i meant marry thee they had good for nothing time as a confidence sublime when i first saw this lady in my youth her winters had forsooth done their worst her locks as white as snow one shame the swarthy crow by and by that fowl's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spot near her eye her rounded form was lean and her silk was bombazine well i wot with her needles would she sit and for hours would she knit would she not a perishable clay her charms had dropped away one by one but if she heaved a sigh with a burden it was thy will be done in travail as in tears with the fardel of her years overpass in mercy she was born where the weary and the worn are at rest oh if you now are there and sweet as once you were grandmamma this nether world agrees it will all the better please grandpapa and boom to my grandmother by frederick locker lampson for librivox dot org Narrated by Sean McKinley To celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006 This relative of mine, was she seventy and nine when she died? By the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm. Her ringlets are in taste. What an arm! What a waist for an arm! With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romney's limning true. What a lucky dog you were, Grandpapa! Her lips are sweet as love. They are parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue, and beam beseechingly, and seem to say, Come! What funny fancy slips! from between these cherry lips whisper me sweet sorceress in paint what canon says i mayn't marry thee that good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime when i first saw this lady in my youth her winters had forsooth done their worst her locks as white as snow once shammed the swarthy crow by and by that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye her rounded form was lean and her silk was bombazine well i wot with her needles would she sit and for hours would she knit would she not ah perishable clay her charms had dropped away one by one but if she heaved a sigh with a burden it was thy will be done. In travail as in tears, with the fardel of her years overpassed, in a mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmamma, this nether world agrees, twill all the better please, Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.